Okay, should be everything. All right. Uh, in which case, it is now, well, four past the hour, so we will get started. Uh, we have a very light agenda at the moment, and we'll get to that in just a second. So welcome, everybody, to this week's community meeting, Qvert community meeting. Uh, it is the 29th of May, 2024. Um, thank you very much for being here. Um, if anyone here is new and would like to introduce themselves, uh, if they haven't before and they'd like to take the opportunity, um, pop a, a note in chat. I'll run through the schedule and the upcoming CFPs, and then, uh, yeah, we'll make some time if you'd like to say hello. So the schedule... Is coming. The Qbert 1.3 release schedule has a feature freeze on the 12th of June. So that is in two weeks' time. Uh, you got two weeks to get your PR, PR, uh, PRs in, people. Um, yeah, I don't think there's anything more we need to say about that, except that uh, on the 3rd of July, we'll have our 1.3 GA, and there will be many fireworks to celebrate it the following day in the United States. Um, just going back to getting your PRs done, please use, uh, for, for my sake and sanity, um, and just for good, um, good hygiene, please use the kind labels and the SIG labels, uh, where applicable, um, both of them, if they are applicable, it, it helps sort in the release notes, uh, very, very much so. And with the changes in SIGs, it's also good to get into the habit of it so that we can, um, uh, notify different teams, uh, for reviews and approving. We'll move along to the events. So we've got uh, two uh, interesting events at the moment with upcoming CFPs. Uh, KVM Forum, I just found out about yesterday, um, a little bit late. The CFP is open until June 8th. I'll put both these in the agenda so that people come to this after the fact can see it, because these are both, um, both events that it's really nice to have a QVET presence at. So KVM Forum there will be in Bruno in September. Uh, and KubeCon, Cloud Native Con, doesn't need too much of an introduction from us, but we'll be in Salt Lake City in November. Um, please, please, please uh, submit. If you've only got half an idea, uh, please submit. Um, and if you've only got half an idea or a quarter of an idea and you're not entirely sure about it, please pick me. Or if you've got a submission and would like some feedback, if at all, um, yeah, again, ping me. I'm happy to help. Um, so that's June 8th, June 9th for those, both of those. I think that's Friday and Saturday next week. Let me just check chat to see if anyone would like to say hello. I do not have anyone. I will now get back to the agenda. All right, in which case, uh, Andre, you had some exciting news to share. Yeah, at Unix we develop a cloud platform for running managed services, and I'm happy to introduce that uh, since last release, we fully support running tenant Kubernetes clusters. Uh, there were an exciting demo yesterday from Flux Afters. I'll just left a link here. Maybe someone might be interested in that. So this idea that uh, you can simply install this uh, platform on bare metal, it's powered by uh, Kubevirt and Kamaji project. Uh, we also use cluster API, uh, Kubevirt CSI driver and Kubevirt CCM. Uh, so if you have any questions, uh, you can ask at our community chat and uh, address them to, to me. I have writing experience about uh, preparing this stuff to, to Yeah, right now uh, I see that tenant clusters can be created with a click. Uh, you can access uh, services from parent cluster and uh, this works just out of the box. Awesome. Well done. Thank you. Um, a slight aside, are you going to be at DevConf this year? Awesome. And you? Uh, it turns out I, I will be. 
Super. Yeah, and we will have a, there will be a QVED booth somewhere. We're not entirely sure where at the moment. Um, on, on, the, on that note, Larry, did you want to um, ask if anyone's going to be at your thing? Sorry? Sure. No, <clears> I just, uh, yeah, I was yeah. talking with Andrew uh, earlier, um, and I just, I evidently am going to be at uh, Confidential Computing Summit. So if anyone happens to be there, uh, we should sync up. It's just going to be next week as well. So in San Francisco, I think you said. Yes. Very cool. All right. Um, if unless anyone has uh, any questions for Andre or or Larry's attendance at uh, Confidence Computing Summit. Um, Okay, and in which case, Daniel, you've got a bunch of stuff. Yeah, sorry for chiming in so late. I hope everyone can hear me. Yeah, we sure can. can. Great, thanks. So yeah, first of all, uh, I wanted to highlight that the SIG operator lanes have to uh, have gotten pretty unstable, especially the 1.30 version. So I've added a link to the test grid where you can see how they're performing and also a link to the Grafana dashboard that we are looking at uh, when it comes to instabilities on the lanes. We are currently investigating uh, the issue. Uh, we don't have any results yet, but we might keep you updated. I think I'm going to write an email to Qubit Dev to notify everyone on that one. Um, there, uh, we, we suspect that this might probably related to a qubit update, a qubit CI update, or otherwise probably uh, one of the recent PRs, but we don't know for sure. Um, that's our current status. Sorry for not having more information to everyone. Um, I think if the 130 situation becomes worse, we might even look at like um, uh, not making the 130 version report anymore. Um, but yeah, that's, that's just yet, yeah, that's exactly the, the uh, picture that you see right now. So more than half of the builds of the operator lane are currently failing on the 130 lane. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'll keep you posted on that one. Um, I figure Brian is also listening in. Um, so if there is an update, we one of us will keep you posted on this. Um, any questions on that one? Okay, so I suppose not. Um, so I'm going to directly um, add the next one. Uh, so I created a PR to create the working groups um, documentation for the arches. Um, so we were recently discussing on the Qubit Dev mailing list whether we should um, create a working working groups for the architecture so that they so so that we have some people who own uh, actually the 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 architecture specific stuff. Um, I've just, for this PR somehow just uh, covers like some blueprint, how it should look like. And I would um, would um, ask the people that are actually like um, on the ARC, uh, on the ARM uh, SIGs, for example, like um, Cheryl Philicus, I see you in the, in the meeting. Um, yeah, if you, if you would, be able to chime in on that document so that I can fill out the required information so that we get this uh, jotted down. Um, there is like a, a charter uh, in each folder that describes somehow um, what the charter or what the working group actually is, uh, is handling. Um, but I couldn't uh, go into detail. I think that you folks probably might be better off uh, looking at this and, and filling this out. So if you just add some commands, I'll be happy to just uh, take this over and just, just commit it directly. And, and let's work together on this PR so that we get this done. That would be great. Sure. Just uh, uh, ping me the link in either Slack. I'm on the uh, Red Hat Slack. Um, oh. or, yeah. I'm C. Philip okay. Keith without the S at the end. Yeah. So, yeah. So they, ha they had to make it eight characters. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay. <laughs> so so I'm just I'm just going to ping you all folks on the PR like Cheryl, uh, like Jan Shintak, and um, I'm I'm I hope I pronounce this right. It's like Bamzi Krishna Sidhu. Um, yeah, correct, Daniel. Yeah. Okay. So I, I'll ping you folks on the PR so that everyone knows that uh, chiming in would be good. Um, I'm just going to add a note to this one. Um, to add pings on the PR. West. Sorry. Well, I'm just repeating to myself what's in the what's in the title from my screen so that I can. Oh, okay. Just, you know. um, <laughs> okay, so, so I'm going to ping you folks and uh, um, I direct you on the document where you, where you would need to chime in somehow. Um, and then please feel free to, to um, add this. Uh, I have this as working as an action item for myself now. That's terrific. Um, if, if anyone knows what the plans are for Red Hat's support of ARM on um, for Qbert going forward. Um, I have been in like chats with um, Andy McRae, who's relocated to Australia recently. Um, but um, he might have something to do with that because he was in the multi-arch team. And um, so we think that there might be benefit for the arm people and the S390X people to uh, uh, talk about, you know, how we're going to go about releasing this and what our test procedures are going to be on different architectures and so forth. Yeah. Um, yeah. That, that's that, sounds, that sounds like a good thing. I, um, I currently can only say the only guy or the only folks I know for, uh, supporting ARM is like the, uh, there is one single guy, I figure he's not present in the current meeting. He's called Howard Zhang. Um, he's also called in Australia, I think. Um, ah. And he's, he's directly from ARM. He was so, his company was so generous to sponsor us like the testing clusters that we, uh, that we have for ARM. Um, so uh, I think it's, um, I put the GitHub handle also on this PR. So you might be uh, just Look at look at the uh, look at the other document that that is in the sick arch arm um, folder so that you can can look at this. But yeah, um, there should also somewhere in the mailing list there should be buried somewhere his email address if you want to contact him. Um, that that could probably help um, uh, you finding him. Terrific. So someday there may even be a, a PPC le sixty four port but we can oh. add them to the yeah the, this this these things have been known to happen uh, it catches on if everybody wants to be running you know cubevert or uh, <clears throat> red hat virtualization on their power clusters uh the the power systems are, are very pro uh, popular in um a high performance computing environments in um american research you uh institutions so hmm. yeah and they have a need for virtualization they have lots of virtual machines running around and, and they use OpenShift and they or and kubernetes like you know oak ridge national lab and the national labs like los alamos and um lawrence livermore and they're always trying to experiment with uh new and better things obviously so because they're research so, yeah, so these things can happen. <laughs> that sounds great. Okay. Um, so, um, and any other things like for the PR for the working group somehow um, that I probably maybe some some uh, other questions or maybe direct. Yeah, I don't I don't think that. Let's just try to chime in on the, on the PR itself. Um, and then we right. should probably get this get this uh, merged hopefully this week or something next week or I don't know when exactly. I'll be out tomorrow because there's a bank holiday in Germany. But yeah, um, yeah, 
I'll I'll be I'll be uh, there on Friday at least. Um, so Thank one other thing so I much. wanted to mention with respect to um, with respect to Qbert, um, I was uh, at the DevOps Pro in Lithuania last week, and I was holding a talk at uh, for Qbert, um, and I was surprised on how few people at the audience did even did not know that Qbert even existed. That was surprising. Um, so uh, Lithuania is a, is a small country uh, in the Baltics. Um, Vilnius is the main city. It has around 700,000 inhabitants, something like that. Um, so they held a conference uh, that had like uh, three different topics, like Dev Days, DevOps, and CyberWise, it was called. Um, so uh, it was partially online, partially in person. So the last two days were in person. I was there in person. Um, overall, it was like around 700 attendees and like um, uh, 130 speakers. I figure that counts both parts, like on the uh, on the online and on the offline um, uh, parts. Um, so um, I personally. Uh, overheard a couple of like German speaking people also, uh, but most others I recommend recognized was like Swedish and uh, probably some uh, Ukrainian people even. Um, that was great to see. Um, and yeah, so so they were like um, doing this uh, in, in a uh, cinema complex that was located inside a shopping mall, uh, which was like pretty cozy, I would say it was like a pretty nice and very comfortable seat, obviously, because you could like um, make yourself comfortable in a in a, a cinema seat, which is uh, which is a great thing. Um, and the biggest um, uh, room, I think, like had around, I would figure, around three hundred or four hundred seats or something like that. Um, so they had like six tracks going on in parallel, or seven, I think, even. Um, and this was uh, was all, all in all. This was a real uh, nice experience, very good organized from uh, me. For me, from my perspective as a speaker, I found this like very welcoming people and very helpful. Um, and like uh, they could even lend me like a pointer device, which I had forgotten, uh, which was great to see. Um, and yeah, so this was like a, a very interesting conference, also from. From, from a speaker perspective, what I saw was lots of AWS people, um, but a couple of like Google, and Microsoft, and um, some uh, like from um, from Swedish companies like Polestar and Scania, and, and also a couple of like major banks were there that were from the Baltics and also from Sweden. Um, so there were a couple of talks I attended, which was also interesting to see. Um, I don't see any recordings up yet, so you um, would need to check back again um, when they come online. They have a YouTube channel which you can just follow, I think, and then um, that should be uh, that should be happening um, at a at at a point some some later point in time. Uh, so I'm just going to. Um, add the link to the to the conference itself. From there, I think you will like have the links to the um, um, to the con uh, to the talks that are that have been happening there uh, and everything else. Um, yeah. So um, yeah, one one thing I want to piggyback upon is like I was like using my small um, homemade setup. Um, where I was uh, wanting to demonstrate what you can do with Qbert uh, with a setup that is inside this repository, which is called Kausei Service, which I figure is not a pun. It's actually using Kausei, and it's also using Fortune, and it's combining these. So um, I was just wanting to demonstrate how you can um, import a virtual machine. I was just uh, going going easy. I was just using a CentOS Stream 9 a virtual machine image um, and imported that into a local kubectl cluster. And if uh, there's people, yeah, feel free to re reuse it. If you want to demonstrate it, please chime in. If you find something that can be improved, 
Um, yeah, the, the step X is like, uh, obviously to me, uh, to do marker that I need to do a bit about that. But I figure that most of the things should be pretty clear about the, um, about the, uh, about the several parts which are in there. Yeah, I think, sorry for my long talking. I think that's it for me. Hopefully, uh, if there are questions, uh, ping me again on the Kubernetes dev slack or, uh, or just right here, probably also if you want, if you have directly some questions. <laughs> okay, then I figured there Thank are you. no questions. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, did you go to what did you go to a spa? It. The hot springs there are reputed to be awesome. Oh, I miss those. That was sad. Yeah. And then the Vitutis water, which is supposedly quite salty. The mineral mm. mineral wasser. Okay, yeah. okay. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't. Uh, but I uh, to to chime in on a on a personal note on the on the uh, on the city. Like Vilnius is an awesome city with a great old town and like the people are so welcoming, except sometimes like the, the waiters are sometimes a bit grumpy, but that uh, um, someone who, uh, whom I met in the, at the conference who was like from uh, Latvia, he was telling that's the same in this country, like waiters are always like grumpy. So I don't know if that's just a, just a thing from a bad thing. but yeah. Or maybe I was just like um, like having a, a, a all the people were probably having a bad day. But overall, I can highly recommend to um, to visit Vilnius. It's a really great city, and like the, again, the conference is also really good. So um, yeah, I had very positive impressions of this one. Very cool. Thank you, Daniel. There. Uh, I am very happy to report that there are no pull requests or bugs, flaky tests, or anything in the mailing list uh, to look at in this meeting. Um, this makes me very happy because it means that people are getting onto this and helping people and, and sharing their communications. Um, so that's great. So unless anyone has anything that they would like to ask or add, um, yeah, we can call a meeting adjourned. All righty then. Well, thank you very much, everyone, for being here and for participating. I uh, hope you all have a lovely day, an even better weekend, and we'll see you all next week. Thanks a lot. See you all. Bye. Thank you. See you all. Bye. <laughs>